We encountered three problems on this course. Two of them I was able to resolve and the third one I wasn't. First problem, I really wanted to do a blind cross right there, but Willie just couldn't read it, so we'll obviously have to work on that. I didn't think he had the distance for the front cross, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that I could send him and get into position for the front. And you can see here uh, how much more independence I give him on the bottom as opposed to the top. I'm not waiting for him. Now we'll try again from the beginning, see how far we can get. As Willie comes out of the yellow tunnel, he, he fails to move out to the jump afterwards. So I tried one more time, making sure to push toward it, but he still missed it. So that time I just sent, it, sent him to it. Now I'm trying from the tunnel, and he's doing pretty well there. Now I'll try introducing a little more speed into uh, this part of the sequence. And one more time. He keeps dropping bars, I think, uh, the next time I set a course like this or I'm working on handling specifically, I'm just going to leave the bars out so it's a non-issue. Now this was our big problem, uh, coming through the box. It we never really did resolve it. I tr tried every way I could think of. And Willie would turn right or he'd turn left and take the side jumps. Or he'd miss the jump. <laughs> and finally, I just wanted him to be successful, so even though I couldn't run it that way in yeah. sequence, I, we just did that. And then to end the session, um, I wanted to end on an up note, so we just ran the fast uh, opening of the course. And I quit while we were ahead, and we just partied.